I really think it's fair to say we are staring down an astronomical engineering problem for us to sustain a good quality of life on this planet. We're not going to be able to solve the problems of the future with the technology of today. The global warming is already happening. We must accelerate science, accelerate the scientific discovery. And that we can do with technology. That's where quantum comes into play. Supercomputer and data center electricity use is a pretty significant fraction of world energy use. Server farms today are things that we touch and we don't even know it. Artificial intelligence is one of the main drivers of uh, computing, which in terms is driving a lot of energy consumption. As our data becomes more and more complex, classical computers really struggle to calculate using that data. And so that's where quantum computers come in. It allows you to simulate nature using the laws of nature. That 53 qubit chip is winning races with building sized supercomputers. The computers that we have today are fundamentally limited in terms of their performance and what they can do, particularly when it comes to thinking about materials discovery um, and optimizing for efficiency. Whether it's uh, you know the CO2, whether it's uh, you know the temperature in the water, or how much CO2 can be absorbed in the water, these different variables are, are massively complex. And being able to bring a, a computer to bear on them that can look at multiple things in parallel is exactly what needs to happen. I hope that sustainability is at the forefront of, of pretty much everybody's mind, no matter what industry or what sector that you're working in. There, there could be up to five orders of magnitude decrease in cost in terms of energy consumption for the quantum computers today. What's exciting is that quantum computing is evolving at a time that we are aware of sustainability. Our generation has figured out that climate change is a much greater existential threat. We're seeing so much incredible innovation. The minds of today are really tuned into this stuff. So I have hope based on the tech, based on the people, based on the evolving culture and mindset. Um, so yes, I have hope.